guys aqua here whenever i notice any making money online opportunity i ensure that i bring them to my channel and share it with you guys all right and this is one i have for you right now if you go to twitter and search for venom foundation you would see a lot of tweets about venom network and a potential airdrop from them all right so how do you participate in this currently venom network venom foundation they are in their test net phase and those that participate in the test net campaign they have a high chance of getting airdropped whenever they go main net all right so you can see right here test net is live i will take you through the steps needed for you to participate in all the test net tasks and also set yourself to be eligible for a potential airdrop in the future so i've gone through all the tasks and i'm going to take you through what you need to do all right on your screen right here is venom the network for last tasks and i'm going to uh, share this link in the description of this video every link i'm going to be talking about in this video i'll be sharing them in the description and also ensure that you follow me from the beginning to the end so right here if you click on the link it will take you to this particular web page all you need to do is to click on connect wallet on the screen and it will take you here where you need to install the venom mobile app that's the venom wallet so once you install the venom blockchain wallet you are going to create an account all right that's if you don't have an account before if you have an account before just sign in with seed phrase so once you create an account it is going to give you 12 words seed phrase ensure you write that seed phrase somewhere very very safe without the access of anybody because whenever they have access to your seed phrase if you have any assets on your venom blockchain whether now or in the future when they go mainnet that asset is not safe it is only supposed to be with you so once you are done all you need to do is to select and boom you are in your wallet you can see you have zero venom tokens so the next thing you need to do is to go to your browser all right the venom browser in that particular wallet they call it decentralized browser right here so once you click on that you paste the task that link that you uh clicked on before you put it here which is venom that network dot task all right you can see it right there so once you put it there you are going to connect your wallet and also log into your twitter so once you click on connect wallet you select and you allow and boom you are connected next thing you need to do is to log into your twitter account click on login with twitter and once you log in with twitter you need to input your username and your password and you have to sign or authorize the venom blockchain app so once you click on that you would need to click on authorize so you would link all right why you need to do this is because there will be some tasks you need to do and they will need to read that you've done those tasks on twitter if you do not connect with this they might not be able to read it okay so you need to do this and it's very important so this is venom foundation on twitter like i showed you right there okay you follow them once you follow them then you click on check right here so whenever you see anything like this on the task you just click on it to take you to the website or the web link that is associated with it so once you are done with each task you come and click on check okay so the next thing once you are done with that you are going to be brought to this page all right where you claim your 50 venom token currently venom is on testnet like i said so the token owed no value the tokens owed no value all right so you click on claim and you submit once you submit it processes and once it's successfully claimed you would have 50 venom in your wallet okay so once you have 50 venom in your wallet then you can now come and do the real task right here so you can see each task that you complete would give you access to mint and nft each all right one two three four five six seven it's a lot of nfts right here but currently as of the time i'm recording this video you only have seven nfts seven tasks to do and seven nfts to mint okay so all you need to do is to just click on complete task once you are ready okay so once you click on complete task you sign every transaction every message and you mint okay so once you've completed all the tasks these are uh, there will be a mint pair a mint function right here you click on mint 
and voila that is your first task so once you are done with the first task you go to the second task all right you do the second task you can see send venom to venom wallet check once you are done with that you can see they will tell you to send venom to your venom wallet so you click on this arrow right here you click on this and copy that wallet then once you copy the wallet you go once you copy this wallet you go back to wallet here and send venom tokens once you are done sending you click on check all right so you can see i highlighted that you come to your wallet right here you click on send you can see send right here so once you click on send it's going to take you here you input the amount of venom you want to send please ensure that you send very low amounts so that you don't run out of test net uh tokens because of future uh task so once you click on that you click on next you click on send you click on ok once you do that you come back to this particular task and click on check okay so anytime you uh leave this page probably you go somewhere to like wallet or other functions just come back anytime you want to come back here just come back to browser if you are not there just click on the url again and you would go and do whatever you go and complete the task so you click on check once you are done with that you can see task completes then you mint nft this was what i was talking about the other time this button will be open for you so you click on mint you mint the second nft there are like seven of them okay so you can find the nfts in your wallet so whenever you are done with each task you click on go back to projects here so you can click on this arrow and it will take you back to the project where you can go ahead and do the next task so you can see this is the third task web3 world click on complete task all right once you are done with click on complete task you mint okay so you can see first decks on venom blah 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 once you complete all the tasks just click on mint okay so this is another task right here which is venom bridge you have to complete the task and what do you do once you enter that it will take you here all you need to do is to click on this click on that it will not display as a link but it is a link once you click on it you follow them and once you are done you check you go to the next task you can see once it's complete it gets done go to the next task you can see transfer tokens from venom to evm chains okay then you click on check how do you do this all you need to do is to click on this arrow right here all right so once you click on that arrow it will take you to another page it is a link all right you take it to another page you can see your venom and evm wallet okay so you have to connect two wallets you connect your venom wallet which is the one you are using right now and you connect your evm wallet which is your metamask wallet, your ethereum wallet okay and you have to do two transactions one is uh the binance smart chain and one is venom test nets okay so connecting the first wallet you click on this you click on select all right so um once you are done with the bridge okay this is what i'm this is what i was saying i screenshotted every of my process this is what i was saying the first one the second one so once you connect the first one you see the amount of venom you have and once you connect the second one you see the amount of bnb you have all right just ensure that you follow me from the beginning from, just ensure that you continue this video with me okay so uh once i click on this once i click on evm wallets i will need to connect my meta this is my metamask wallet right here then i click on connect then i click on approve so it's going to add this network on in my wallet all right it says switch i click on switch network all right so once i click on switch network it is going to get connected all right so the next thing i need to do is to transfer bnb from anywhere to my metamask wallet okay i have to transfer bnb from anywhere to my metamask wallet because right here we need binance smart chain to carry out the transaction all right you don't need much uh bsc you just need a little so if you know someone who can uh give you all you need to do is to send them your ethereum wallet uh, address this is your ethereum wallet address right here you send it to them they transfer to you however if you don't have anybody that can give to you all you need to do is to go to this exchange called bybit i'll drop a link in the description to this exchange so once you come to this exchange called bybit you come and buy 
BNB. Okay, so you buy about say seven dollars worth of BNB. Once you buy about seven dollars worth of BNB, you withdraw it to your MetaMask wallet or whatever Ethereum wallet you are using. Okay, I already made a video on how to buy cryptocurrency and withdraw on chain. I will drop the link to that video in the description of this video as well for you to get the um grip on that but it is very simple all you need to do is to sign up once you sign up that's if you don't have an account before if you don't have an account before just log in once you log in this is the app you would see a lot of a lot of functions here all you need to do is to click on trade all right once you click on trade then you buy this is for buy and this is for sell ensure that the uh function is on market then impute the amount of bnb you want to buy and remember that the this thing the currency pair is bnb usdt at the top right there however it is not enough for you to just buy you need to have usdt for you to make any trade right here so don't worry just go ahead to watch those videos and it will help you so once you buy all you need to do is to just go and withdraw you impute the um your wallet address your metamask wallet address you select the network to be bsc binance smart chain because if you remember we are dealing with binance smart chain and venom right here you can see venom testnet and binance smart chain so once you withdraw you submit your application and okay so you would find your balance right here you find your balance right here so i withdrew around five to seven dollars on this why i say you should use bybit is because bybit has a low threshold for withdrawal on binance it is higher than that okay so once you are done all you need to do is to go back to your wallet all right so you can see the two tasks that we need to do is to transfer from venom to binance smart chain and transfer from binance smart chain to venom okay so you can see right here we have but from binance smart chain to venom testnet so all you need to do is to come here and impute the amount all right so once you scroll down you see the amount of uh tokens ensure that you impute a very low amount like you can see right here i impute 0 0.001 bsc that's bnb okay once i do that i click on continue all right okay so this is another page i had when i was doing all this i had an issue okay i'm taking you through all these steps so that in case you also have an issue this is how you are going to correct it so i had an issue right here so i had to go to my another my browser not chrome i went to mrs browser mrs browser is spelled m i m i s e s mrs browser so i went to mrs browser and i installed the venom uh blockchain wallet extension okay let me show you how that is this is my mrs browser right here so i went to my search bar right there and i searched for venom wallet extension so once i search for venom wallet extension it brings out a page where i can easily install the venom wallets okay you can see it right here once I click on Venom Wallet, it takes me to another page where I can install the extension. So once I install the extension, I run the extension. I open it and I import my uh, I imported my Venom seed phrase in this extension. Okay, so that was how I was able to do that. Okay, so once you do that, you might get a page like this. I put it on that desktop. It's still the same thing. You might not run into this. Uh, this uh, problem okay you can still continue using your venom app while you go ahead with your thing you might not encounter the same problem but perhaps you encounter the same problem just go and download mrs browser once you download mrs browser go to venom wallet extension install the wallet once you install the wallet you add to chrome that's that's the process of installing then you import your seed phrase you sign in with seed phrase the 12 word seed phrase that you were given before you need to impute it and boom you are in your wallet on 
the browser okay so anytime you want to access your wallet all you need to do is just to click on this icon on that browser and you see a list of all the wallets that you have i also did the same for my um metamask wallet i installed the extension and imported the seed phrase so i have my venom wallet and my metamask wallet on the same browser so whenever i want to use both of them it will be easy for me to use okay so i connected like as usual i connected this and this i connected the venom wallet and i also connected my metamask wallet right here so you can see from and to from is Binance Smart Chain, to is Venom Testnet. I impose the amount of tokens I want to enter, which is 0 0.005. All right. Right here. And I come here. You can see Venom is 2. Then I click on continue. So once I click on continue, I will approve transfer right here. So you can see approve transfer. These are the four stages. Prepare transfer transfer checklist and release transfer to venom testnet okay so once i do that once i click on that approve transfer it opens my metamask wallet automatically so you can see so i have to confirm so this is why you need bnb in your wallet so whenever you are have any transaction to do on metamask you have to sign you have to uh, pay a fee called gas fee a transaction fee called gas fee but on smart chain it is very very low so you can see 0 0.000322 bmb that is what i paid for gas fee then i click on confirm once i click on confirm you can see transfer tokens to binance smart chain vault so once that is done it goes to the next uh stage which is transfer checked by relayers boom once the four of them are done then it will be successful i've done the first part of this then the next thing i need to do is to do the second part which is to transfer from venom testnet to binance smart chain remember we did for binance smart chain to venom testnet i believe that at this point you are still following me if there is any point you do not get just go back to the, that particular section of this video and watch again okay so now we are transferring from venom testnet to binance smart chain you remember i transferred 0 0.005 bnb back then from binance smart chain to uh, venom testnet i'm transferring the same thing back okay so you can see 0 0.005 bnb right there then i click on continue so i approve transfer but because i'm transferring to uh bnb now I'm going to approve on my Venom wallet. Remember the other time I approved on my Metamask? That's because we are transferring from Binance Smart Chain to Venom Testnet. But now we are transferring from Venom Testnet to Binance Smart Chain. So once you do that, you enter your password. There will be a password because you would have set this while creating your Venom wallet. You enter your password and you confirm transaction. All right? So once you confirm the transaction, that means you've done all the tasks which is to follow venom once you follow venom you've transferred tokens from venom to evm and you transfer from evm to venom by evm you can remember that that is the binance smart chain so once you've done all this then the mint button will open like i said earlier so once you click on mint you mint your nft all right so you've done another part of the task the next task is the osis gallery the venom stake and the venom pad all right so these three tasks okay so you can decide to do any in my case i went to osis gallery all right i click on complete task so once i enter it all i need to do is these three things follow osis gallery remember you click on that particular uh word osis.gallery to take me to a different page so once i'm done with that i follow them on twitter i click on check right here so it becomes black the one that you have not do is the one that is colorful all right so the next thing i need to do is to buy an nft and what do i do all i need to do is to click on this right here remember i told you it is a link so once i click on it to take me to another page we we'll have to buy an nft and once i buy an nft i come back to click on check okay so once i click on that it takes me to this page right here you can see testnet.osis.gallery forward slash buy 
so you look for an nft that is very very cheap less than five venom or around five venom don't buy an nft that is greater than the amount of venom remaining in your wallet remember we are using the test net uh venom so you click on that and you click on buy okay you connect your account that's the first thing you need to do pardon me you click on connect account so you have to connect you to your venom wallet you select all right once you select you connect then you look for an nft that you want to buy coincidentally i found this nft uh called aquatech <laughs> my name is aqua so that coincides so i click on this nft and i click on buy now instead of make an offer all right i click on buy now once i click on buy now i confirm you can see as at this point i have i had like 38 venom and spending five venom won't be that bad so i bought the venom and i click on send you can see purchasing nft right here and boom nft purchased successfully all right so i purchased that nft i came here again i also purchased another nft called abstract collection i don't really know much about this you can see the price one venom all right i purchased two all right in your case you just need to purchase one then once i am done with that i put the same nft for sale this one that i purchased i put it for sale you can see right here put on sale so you put it for sale those are the two tasks that you need to do for this particular one you have to buy an nft and you have to put an nft on sale so i put it on sale i put my amount five venom and i clicked on put on sale and it processes and boom it is placed successfully so you can easily cancel your sale right here but that's not really needed so once you are done with that you come and complete task you go back to that particular uh task that particular page which is uh osis gallery all right so you can see right here i'm oh, i'm already back to my i'm back to my uh, venom uh mobile app venom mobile wallet before i was using when i was doing the transactions for when i was doing the transactions for um venom bridge i used my i used my mrs browser but now that i'm doing others i'm using my wallet you can see the difference right there so if you don't encounter any problem just go ahead with using the wallet but if you encounter a problem then you can go ahead to use the browser which one whichever one is uh better for you and less stressful so let's go back to the page that we were all right so you click on complete task you have one more task to do which is to mint once you have done the first two tasks this would come up then you click on mint and boom this is your nft so once you are done with that you go to the next task which is to stake your venom tokens all right so how do you do this you click on complete task as usual then you go to this link right here so you can see then once you go to the link to take you here then you connect your wallet as usual do not forget anything you want to do here you have to connect your wallet so you connect your wallet you select all right and you are here so right here you have to impute the amount of venom that you want to stake okay so i impute about one venom then i click on stick so you can see transaction has been sent once that is done you click on check once you click on check you can see right here the button is colored but right here the button is gray or dark or dark gray then this is open so you click on mint so once you click on mint then your nft will be minted you can see your nft is minted these are very important because this would be like your proof of participation so once you are done with that then you have completed all the tasks that is required of you on the venom blockchain so if you scroll down you can also see uh faucets you can request more faucets on the venom network all right all you need to do is to click on faucets it will start daily quiz you click on start so what is the name of the first nft marketplace on venom remember OC is the gallery then go back to task go to the next one all right click on claim and boom 
you've successfully claimed venom testnet token so basically that's everything you need to do about the venom testnet and ensure that you follow their twitter all right for more information by the time you are doing this task there are lots of uh accounts that you would have followed ensure that you turn on their notifications so that whenever they post updates you will be the first to get them follow and turn on their notifications so that you'll be seeing their updates regularly okay don't forget to join their discord channel this is their discord channel i don't know if i still have it here this is their, their discord server so on their discord server you can also follow updates about uh the venom network there okay so that brings us to the end of this video if you loved the video so far, please ensure that you like and you subscribe to this channel. Whenever I see updates like this, I always bring them here. Okay? Then don't forget to share it with your friends. If you turn on the notification button for this channel, whenever I post video updates like this, you will be the first to get them. So go ahead to do that. If you have any question for me, just drop them in the comment section of this video and I will attend to them. Thank you very much once again. I will see you in my next video. Bye.